Hey all, so here's a quick video on this uh, TP-Link Archer 11000 router, Wi-Fi router. It's a uh, Wi-Fi 6 compatible uh, router and it has these massive antennas, which I thought for some reason you can actually rotate, but you can't. They just stick up. So I don't know, it's kind of ugly, I guess, unless you're really into gaming a lot, I think. Uh, back here, we have the ports on this device. It has eight ports, and then it has a WAN there at the end, and a plug. And so far, I've had this device for about four or five days, and it's been really, really bad. Um, I also bought the extender for this, because this was dropping within like 35 feet. It would drop signal really, really low. Uh, and even sporadically, it just drops even things that are closer, like 15 feet away, it'll drop. Um, so I don't know why it does that, but it's been very inconsistent. It seems like the worst is the 2.4 gigahertz connection. That one is really, really slow, but even on the 5G or the, the, the gaming one, it also has issues where it drops it and then it won't reconnect. And then my laptop, when I open it up, it never, it often does not connect and I have to change the Wi-Fi to one of the other ones and then come back for it to connect. So I definitely do not recommend this device here. I'll show you what the extender looks like. All right, so here is the extender. It's a TP-Link extender. It's nice that it has a, a little port on here on the side for Ethernet, uh, which I am using. Uh, and it's, it uses the one mesh network that TP-Link has. So it's pretty straightforward to connect and really easy. So this seems to be okay. All right, and here are the devices that they look like in the box. Uh, this is from Costco. I believe it's $2.99 at Costco currently. And then this is the extender that I got at Best Buy, which is $83. And this has a model number of RE505X. And this, like I mentioned, is uh, AX1000. Up there it says the Archer AX1000. So this definitely I don't recommend. It's too unstable. And then this here seems to be okay. I mean, it is connected to this, which causes instability. But in the sense of like how easily it was to connect this using the one mesh system they have, um, seems pretty good. And I was happy that it also had at least one port to plug something in if you need to. Uh, but this guy here, don't recommend, don't buy it unless there's something gaming wise that really makes sense for you to get this. Uh, overall, it kind of Wi-Fi connection has been very, very unstable. All right. Hope you like these videos. Definitely like and subscribe if you like this content and we'll catch you in the next one. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.